Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 4, 5, and 7. I'm going to be showing you in this demonstration that no matter how you go with it, you're still going to only get 30 to 50% out of your projector and why black screens are the best way to go. Now keep in mind also too when dealing with a black screen, it has to be to produce a high enough white level. For those of you who have been saying, hey, guess what? Have you ever did a black screen paint mix or a cheap black screen paint mix versus your screen paint? Yes, I have have as a matter of fact check out the link below you will see a black bear uh, screen paint mix uh, versus the supreme 7 also I did one on the superior also using everyday black house paint so like I said these are usually what's used in a lot of these cheap mixes and like I said it's just everyday house paint it reacts the same way if you're going to hit the side of your wall there's no difference in it if you have your lights on it's going to wash out if you have your lights on off it's going to look somewhat good so i'm going to show you what you actually are really getting so as i said before you have a lot of people do a lot of research on their projector they go to abs forums they go to projector central and they go to youtube they look at all these demonstrations and they just drive themselves crazy trying to find that perfect projector but even when you get that perfect projector you're only going to get 30 to 50 percent from your projector that's it all those little bells and whistles you will never utilize it it will never happen and i'll show you why so this is a cheap mix keep in mind i did one yesterday just using bare silver screen black paint and christmas glitter this one i added in some of that silver metallic into it it doesn't make a difference what you add into this because this is going to dilute all of it you're never going to see this to begin with it's just a mess all right so keep in mind we have a different way of developing gray screen paint trust me it's never like this but that's why our gray screens were producing images in fully lit environments because the technology was a little different than this stuff right here but we don't support it anymore due to the fact that we can see that black is the best way to go and the only way to achieve true black contrast you have to have a black screen. All right, so over here we have bare silver screen. This is bare silver screen in its raw form. It's very light. We got the Metallica paint here. We got black and Christmas glitter. And as I said before, if you're gonna go down this road and getting a doing this to your projector, don't bother spending the money on the projector. Just get a knockoff and be done with it. All right, so we're gonna come over here and show you my projector. I'm using the ViewSonic projector. This is 1920 by 1200. This is a 4,000 lumen projector with a 12,000 to one contrast ratio. This projector, I don't know if I said already, it's 4,000 lumens, I don't know if I said it already, but it's a WXGA projector. So we're gonna do this demonstration. All right, I'm gonna turn around here, block up the screen so you can see. That already, I've already painted one side of this using with that silver Metallica mixed into it. And that right there is our Supreme 7. So let's move out of the way. And let's begin the demonstration to show you what you are actually getting from your projector. And what you will be getting from your screen. Now keep in mind, the lights are on our side of the screen. I could turn this light on right here, but I think it'd be too much for the paint to be to handle it. So we just have it on our side. Now in order for you to be able to get a decent picture when using a screen paint or a projection screen of this color or caliber, you're going to have to be sitting in the dark. That's why you watch a lot of those demonstrations, they're sitting in the dark because that's the only way you're going to be to see a decent picture without any fading or washing out. Look how bright the white levels are on our black technology, which is very, very important. It has to be to display very high white levels and contrast at the same time. Now, I'm gonna come over here in just a minute. We're gonna pause it, bring it back just a bit, and I'm gonna drop a few lights in the environment, all right? To show you exactly where you're going to be at because I've had people say well it's not fair because you got all these lights on the environment well you just answer your own question on where you're going to be sitting at when you use a screen paint of that color and I've done this demonstration with darker screen paints it, it reacts the same way and keep in mind in order for us to come up with this black technology we had to test it against our own gray and light silver screens and that's when we realized we're not making it we don't make those screens anymore And this is where the light's out. Now if you see that even with the lights out, see how this is black right here, that's gray. That's what you're actually getting. You're not getting contrast. Even with the lights out, you're still not getting it. And my projector is 12,000 to one. Now, like I said, I paid around $900 for my projector. 
$900 for a projector that I will never ever get a chance to utilize at 12,000 to one contrast. Just turn on a light. Get the wrong way. There we go. It's one light. That's it. idea what you're getting. All right, let's grab us another real quick. Now, for my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from Luminous 4K Screen Paint using the ambient light rejection technology gain times four, five, and seven, showing you what you are really actually getting from your screen. And this is what happens when you use a cheap paint. And this is why I have no problem with coming on here showing you exactly how the paint was made because I know what you're going to get. Keep in mind, not all lights are on. We just have lights here and we have lights here. That's it. Everything else is off. And the majority of the light is on our side of the screen. And I'm pretty sure, if not all of you, have more light than this in your environment. That's not a brighter red, that's a faded red. faded that image looks. It's faded. I'm not going to be able to pick up any contrast and I have a 